You've probably heard about black holes. This cosmic entity is so powerful, so irresistibly magnetic, that not even light can escape its gravitational grip. Black holes have been long painted as the devouring monsters of outer space, swallowing everything that dares to come near them, leaving no trace of their existence, not even information. But what if we turned that idea on its head? Well, brace yourselves, because we're about to do just that. What if these scary space giants are not destroyers, but creators making whole star systems? So tighten your seatbelts as we dive into the fascinating theories. But before this, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon for more thrilling updates. To kick things off, let's first decode the jargon. Are these celestial phenomena actually holes? And are they truly black? Scholars from different scientific disciplines might provide similar responses to these questions, yet their perspectives diverge based on their specialization. You see, within a black hole, the conventional laws of physics perform a vanishing act. In Einstein's terms, the gravity within a black hole warps space so intensely it seems to puncture it. So how are black holes formed? Could any star morph into a black hole? The scientific community continues to grapple with these questions. However, the most widely accepted theory is gravitational collapse, suggesting that black holes originate from stars 2.5 to 5.6 times heftier than our sun. Fascinatingly, once a black hole is born, it spans just a few dozen miles in diameter. For instance, if our sun were to transform into a black hole, its radius would shrink to a mere 1.9 miles, compared to its current girth of around 432,450 miles. Is it not fascinating? So what determines this extreme compression when a star morphs into a black hole? Enter the Schwarzschild radius, named after pioneer and astronomer Carl Schwarzschild, who was the first to discover this phenomenon. The crux of it is that any object in the universe could become a black hole if squashed enough. For the Sun, its Schwarzschild radius is 1.9 miles. For Earth, it's just 0.35 inches, about the size of a grain of rice. Let's give it a whirl. Apply this formula to calculate the Schwarzschild radius of objects around you and discover what it takes to turn them into black holes. But here, the key question is how these black holes are formed. There are two primary interpretations of how black holes are created each aligning with the theory of general relativity or quantum mechanics. The general relativity perspective posits that a black hole's entire surface constitutes a spherical boundary, known as the event horizon, that entraps light and matter, making escape impossible. At this point, the gravitational forces of the black hole start to consume everything in its vicinity. The event horizon is essentially a point of no return. Escape becomes impossible once crossed. If we dared to venture inside a black hole, we would find that space-time is severely warped, becoming infinitely so at the core. This central point, referred to as the gravitational singularity, is where conventional concepts of space and time lose their meaning, and the known laws of physics cease to apply. However, it's crucial to note that black holes don't have a surface. The event horizon is simply a boundary that marks the beginning of the black hole. Moreover, Black holes aren't geometrical objects in the traditional sense, as they lack a permanent shape or surface. The event horizon can't be touched or felt. It's akin to transitioning from one completely dark room to another without noticing the doorway. In essence, a black hole is a location where mass has distorted space-time to such an extent that nothing can leave once it crosses the boundary. Anything that enters the black hole will forever be beyond the horizon. This mystery that lies at the heart of a black hole's event horizon has long charmed the collective curiosity of astronomers worldwide. What would we observe from within the mysterious belly of the beast? And what would this manifestation look like to those observing from the outside? As one breaches the event horizon, their reality diverges into two distinct realms. In one, they vanish into oblivion instantaneously, while in the other, they remain frozen in time, slowly fading into nothingness. Interestingly, if you were to traverse the event horizon, you wouldn't perceive any change at all. It would be akin to moving from one pitch black room to another, completely oblivious to the intervening threshold. And as you venture deeper, inching ever closer to the gravitational singularity at its heart, you wouldn't experience any turbulence or gravitational pull 
you would simply fall freely. Of course, this peaceful image is predicted on you being in a huge black hole, millions of times bigger than our sun. If you were unfortunate enough to find yourself in a smaller black hole, you would undergo a fearful transformation, being stretched out like a piece of spaghetti, a phenomenon humorously termed spaghettification by the scientific community. But let's speculate that we've found ourselves within a massive black hole. Though our fate is sealed, we won't meet our end instantly. Instead, we descend steadily toward the singularity. As you float through the infinite distorted space bound for the singularity, observers on the outside would assert that you've disappeared beside the black hole. Who's correct in this scenario? Excitedly, both perspectives hold validity based on physics principles. Furthermore, according to Stephen Hawking's theory, you could gradually disappear within the black hole, effectively being erased from the universe. This proposition presents a significant paradox. Under quantum physics laws, you can't cross the event horizon from an observer's vantage point. You must remain outside the black hole. The laws of physics fundamentally maintain that information cannot be destroyed. Thus, when a person is inside a black hole and the atomic composition of their body vanishes from an observer's view, it leads to a seeming contradiction of these laws. A groundbreaking insight from Stephen Hawking reveals that black holes also undergo evaporation. This happens as virtual particles appear at the edge of the event horizon. On rare occasions, one particle is swallowed by the black hole, turning the other into radiation, the so-called Hawking radiation. This process allows the black hole to gradually lose its mass over an incomprehensibly long period. Theoretically, a supermassive black hole formed by the amalgamation of several black holes would need a time span of 10 raised to the power of 100 years to evaporate. Adding to this, any entity entering a black hole ceases to exist as we know it. Its matter transforms into heat, an occurrence that seemingly conflicts with the principle of undestroyable information, thus creating the black hole information paradox. Researchers from the University of Ohio proposed an interesting solution to this paradox, suggesting that black holes are not dense, compact objects, but immense fuzzballs. Under this interpretation, a non-spinning, non-charged black hole is solely defined by its mass. If an object enters the black hole, its characteristics and state during the absorption event are irrelevant. The only change is an increase in mass, leading to the saying, black holes have no hair which implies that black holes of the same mass with no spin or charge are identical. Nevertheless, string theory offers another perspective. It proposes that all matter comprises thin, oscillating quantum strings. Much like the strings of a musical instrument, these can vibrate, bend, and fold. As such, a black hole could be considered a fuzzball made entirely of these quantum strings, obeying their unique quantum laws. With this theory, the black hole is not a location packed with particles, but a yarn ball of quantum strings. There's no singularity or inside of the hole, beyond the event horizon, space-time doesn't exist. Therefore, an object's fall couldn't enter the black hole, but would alter the fuzzball's vibrations and influence the radiation emitted by the black hole, ensuring the information isn't destroyed. The fuzzball theory also aids in resolving another paradox related to the physics of black holes. The issue of Hawking radiation and its relation to the creation of virtual particles in a vacuum. These particles, like light radiated from the sun or other high temperature bodies, can be regularly observed. However, photons emitted throughout a black hole's lifespan would have an entropy too great to align with quantum mechanics principles. This issue can be addressed by considering the wormhole paradigm, which allows us to properly calculate entropy by considering both the photons leaving the black hole's gravitational field and the particles entering the black hole. Recently, in January of 2022, the Hubble telescope made a surprising discovery related to black holes. It detected that radiation can directly influence star formation processes, lighting up distant regions of space, which appears to confirm the fuzzball theory. By observing the remote galaxy Henes 210, Hubble detected a radiation flow moving toward a dense gas formation, presumably from where a black hole should be. This radiation was traveling at a speed of around a million miles per hour, affecting the density of the gas. This discovery contradicts the efforts observed in larger galaxies, where magnetic fields sweep up matter approaching a black hole, forcing it into a fiery plasma burst. The diligent efforts of scientists and groundbreaking technology have led us to a new understanding of black holes, helping us peek into their mysterious event horizons. 
these enigmatic objects aren't merely consumers. Theories suggest they could also be creators, contributing to our knowledge of these extraordinary cosmic entities. Each new discovery brings us closer to comprehending the origins of supermassive black holes in the universe's early phase. As we delve deeper into the study of black holes, one thing is certain. Black holes will continue to fascinate and capture our imaginations for generations to come. Therefore, it's safe to say that this is just the beginning of a long journey toward understanding one of the most intriguing phenomena in our universe, black holes. So let's keep exploring these cosmic wonders together, pushing the boundaries of our understanding. Remember to stay curious, keep looking up, and share this journey with others by hitting the subscribe and share buttons. Thanks for watching.